Now remember, there are these words. Uh, there I have given here four set of words, and there's, these are the words you ought to have to write in your letter. What are they? Complaint. Next, investigation. Next, visit. Next, appointment. And how they you can be used? They can be used in singular or plural form. For example, he presented with a complaint of. With a complaint, there is only one complaint. For example, Mrs. Smith presented with a complaint of nausea. Whereas, there are more than one, you have to say, the complaints of nausea and stomachache. That is one about complaint and complaints, they can be made plural. Investigation. This also is a sentence you will have to write in your pay a test. That is, an urgent, an urgent investigation would be highly appreciated. That is, an, only one. But if you have uh, blood sugar and midstream investigations, because you have two, then another, please organize a visit. A visit, please organize a visit uh, by the physiotherapist. Or you can say, his condition has improved after several visits. So, so there it is plural. Another appointment. Uh, please arrange an appointment. An appointment. An appointment. This is a sentence you have to write with the, the medical practitioner after discharge. Or it can be made plural by saying, she is able to walk short distance following several physio uh, physiotherapy appointments. Then, uh, uh, now remember, all procedures. This is a very important thing. And uh, those who register with us, I will send this one. And uh, make a note of this and go through them daily. All procedures are countable. Use uh, A or AN with the procedures. For example, A hysterectomy. A hysterectomy or a colonoscopy, a CT scan, and uh, an MR, a, a, though it begins with the letter M, pronunciation is A, M, MRI, an MRI, an operation, a blood test, a sample, an examination, a biopsy, procedure, a biopsy, an ultrasound, a mammogram. Remember, these all procedures you, in your letter, will have to write a procedure, at least one. Remember, all procedures are, uh, you will have to use A. However, I told you operation, operations, A underwent an operation. However, uh, surgery, as I told you earlier, is uncountable. Therefore, you can say hip replacement, he underwent A hip replacement. Whereas, uh, A surgery is wrong. So, be careful about them. Now, another very important uh, articles are used, uh, job or people. Job, for example, let's look at this sentence which I have given here. There is an appointment has been arranged with uh, A financial. This is a sentence you are writing for a social worker. Please arrange an appointment with uh, A financial advisor and the financial when you are going to refer it for the second time or you can write i am uh, uh, writing to refer mrs morris a 23 year old year old student a hyphenated word which we have seen a little earlier however if you know specifically which person you are talking then you can add uh, the because uh, i recommend you to meet a physiotherapist and uh, the physiotherapist will do give you the needful. Now, another very important uh, information which I want to give you, there are, I told you, as I told you earlier, there are certain uh, nouns with the, always you have to use the, uh, <coughs> don't forget, don't bother about any other thing. There are certain uh, listed uh, uh, nouns, for example, patient or patients. The, you always you have to use the patient or the patients. Another very important, the past, the last, the previous, the next. The last. These are the words indeed you have to do in your uh, writing. The last, 
द पास द लास्ट बिकॉज दैट इज सुपरलेटिव डिग्री द पास द लास्ट द प्रीवियस द एंड द फॉलोइंग द फॉलोइंग द फॉलोइंग द फॉलोइंग द सेम द विल ऑलवेज बेव द सेम द सेम द लेफ्ट द राइट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द लेफ्ट द राइट और द स्टमक एक द नेक द ऑर्गन द ऑर्गन नॉट एक स्टमक द स्टमक एनी बॉडी पार्ट एनी बॉडी पार्ट एनी बॉडी पार्ट यूर द स्पैंग्रियस द लिवर द यूटरस द लंग्स ऑल बॉडी पार्ट विल टेक मेक ए नॉट ऑफ दिस पेशेंट्स देन द पास द लास्ट द सेम एक्सेट्रा एंड एनी body part very important the gun that is uh, job roles and describing patient this also is a part of your right that is the reason why i have taken article in the beginning because whenever you refer to doctor you have to say the doctor whenever you refer to a nurse you have to say the nurse the dentist profession the psychologist or the psychiatrist the social worker and the anesthetist and you cannot just assume a and the and again uh, when you write in your in your social history don't write widow you can write a widow she is a widow is is a widow or later if you want write the or a factory worker that is what your uh, mrs smith uh, or mr smith uh, uh, um, mr smith a 65 year old uh, um uh, factory worker so factory worker alcoholic for be very careful of writing alcoholic because you are generalizing which we will see when it come to john ray and stale now uncountable nouns which i already told you pain progress support advice care treatment assistance surgery information name of medical condition uncountables do not take that is the key uncountables do not take a uh, and again don't use uh, do with medical condition for example it is wrong to say that uh, she had a type 2 diabetes mellitus cannot say that a that because that is disease condition you have to say she has had instead of saying has had she has to say has had a type 2 diabetes not a similarly uh, she was diagnosed with uh, a breast cancer is wrong she was diagnosed with a breast cancer or you can say what is that uh, uh, the test uh, showed that uh, you have high uh, a high cholesterol is wrong high cholesterol then next is uncountable uh, do not take an for example they presented in the, in the, this is uh, uh, taken from the uh, case note he presented with a uh, epigastric pain and not a an epigastric pain he present because the a begin with the e and the a immediately uh, students have a tendency to use an not an epigastric epigastric pain advice for you cannot say that he needs uh, your ad- an advice or he gave me an advice advice then uh, she made a slow progress is wrong he made uh, or she is making a slow progress is wrong angina angina for example a yeah, uh, di- uh, diagnosis with angina no don't say an angina so these are articles are on ah now these are the uh, our uh, title of the day is use of article only 50% more important is where you do not use article omitted uh, in ca- yeah, and you see that in case notes when you read case notes they do not uh, use article because it's a notes form case note a note form so be very careful uh, ek articles are omitted in the case note but uh, you adhere to standard grammar rule otherwise you will be losing it for example pain in left groin no that's wrong pain in the left but in the case note you will get pain in left groin and the cell was diagnosed with uh, an arthritis with arthritis not an arthritis and uh, she uh, has a fa- she has family history This is a sentence again. You have to write. She is. She has family history. So she has a family history because family history can be counted. And with the with the same disease, 
not with same disease, with uh, the same disease. Now here I have given here uh, eight sentences which I plucked from uh, correction not, notes I have seen, where they say, Mrs. Wilfred under, uh, uh, will undergo a surgery wrong. Surgery, a surgery is wrong. Now we'll uh, need a CT scan. A CT scan can be counted. Procedure. Then uh, blood test was ordered for him. Blood test, a uh, procedure. Then underwent uh, hysterectomy. Mrs. Uh, uh, Davis underwent hysterectomy surgery. Uh, has a family history. I told you just now. It is countable. A. And then Juliet uh, condition worsened uh, over past is wrong over the past. And then he has a pain is wrong. He has pain because pain is uncountable. John was admitted following stroke on his own. And now, uh, friends, uh, that with that brief uh, uh, introduction, uh, we'll uh, come to the day's uh, talk on articles. Now, make a quick recap. Articles are based on nouns. Now, study the nouns, countable and uncountable. And then, how do you use a or an and the? There are words you have to use the, where you should not use the, and the a and an. Now, uh, uh, I invite you, we invite you to learn from the experts. BMAX are expert. Here, uh, I invite you to take BMAX advantage. We, what are the BMAX advantage? Number one, we have regular, offline, online, and the holiday batches. Uh, most of the nurses or doctors may be working somewhere. Uh, we have flexi time. Second is that a very important thing only uh, we are very particular about is we have weekly mock tests and supplement with a monthly mock tests, which is called a central mock test. That means you will get the real experience what OET is because it's central mock test. First week of every month. And another intensive training so when uh, the, along with the regular training, now the, the senior uh, trousers and the trainers will come and address the students for 15 days to give uh, some additional thing. Then remedial class, we have a weekly mock test and there we identify the students uh, who are weak at and what they are weak at. They are given remedial and uh, the, the standard uh, uh, or flagship of uh, BMAX are spectra and roots they are giving supplementary class, advanced learning. And there, we, are, we are sure, do you know that something very interesting with the only BMAX can claim is that none of our uh, doctors failed to get uh, their required score. Their required score is B. But most of them get A and no one till this date has failed. That is something which uh, BMAX alone can claim. Then are student friendly and one to one correction which you can experience if you uh, subscribe uh, and register with us now uh, moreover as i told you the other we have a set of books which i told you especially the grammar book which has been designed only for you especially for uh, candidates like you we know we are in the field for uh, several years and we know what you lack and with you in our mind, we have made a, a set of books which I showed you the last time and you can be with us. In the meantime, uh, go through it and uh, study, write these things down on the wall and then repeat them. Human memory is a, we are, for, what is that, uh, Shakespeare says in Antony and Cleopatra, my oblivion is my Antony. Oblivion is my Antony. Antony and Cleopatra. Oblivion means Man is prone to forget it. You study everything, not because you are not studying. You forget. If you forget, you are normal. So, uh, revise them and don't forget to uh, call us if you have any problems and we are ready at least uh, to be with you. In the meantime, convey my love and regards to your parents, your friends, your family, your neighbors and your enemies. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.